Hello and welcome to FTP with an FTP client. This tutorial is specifically made for those of you who have formally graduated from the MSCT program and are looking to update web pages but because Internet Explorer can no longer um, be used as an FTP client you now need to use a true traditional FTP client. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download a product called FileZilla. It is free. The website is FileZilla-Project.org. Alternately, you could just go to Google and search for FileZilla. And if you get to their homepage, notice that they have a download FileZilla client as a big button. You do want the client. And then from here, you can download and install the one that's appropriate for your computer. Now for Windows, you're going to want, generally speaking, to go after this FileZilla.exe right here. Obviously, if you are into the uh, Macintosh platform, you're going to choose one of these two pieces here. So once you have that downloaded and installed, you'll be ready to set that up and do some file transfers. I'm going to go ahead and close this particular window. And what I've done in preparation for this tutorial is I have navigated to my online portfolio. And if you are in a position where you're still updating your website for your particular situation, I'm sure you already know how to get to your portfolio. But just as a recap, I went to the MSCT home. I clicked on portfolios. I chose the program in which I am uh, working in chose the letter of my last name and then last I chose my actual portfolio. Now in this particular case this is my current active portfolio and this is the window I need up predominantly because I want to pay attention to this web address across the top here. And in fact what I have done in preparation for this let me go ahead and close some of these out here for you in preparation for this is I have a little diagram going here of this. Once again, this is the web address blown up a little bit larger. Notice that obviously it starts with HTTP colon slash slash. The host address is this portion right here, mset.rst2.edu. And the final portion of the web address is the subdirectory or the location where your information is stored. Now if you don't have this information, you're not going to be successful. So you must go through the process of at least looking at your web address up here and writing down the details, making sure you get it exactly correct. Once we get into FileZilla, notice that the site is going to be the same thing as it is here, as well as the root folder is going to be the same thing as it is here. The only difference for the root folder is notice that the slashes are going to move to the other position, the other type of backslash. Actually, it's the only type of backslash. So we're going to want to keep that information in mind as we get ready to FTP. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. I've already got FileZilla running here. And what I'm going to do, when you very first start FileZilla, you're going to basically have a blank screen here. You're going to want to go to File and Site Manager. Now, I already have several different sites running but the one I want to show you specifically is under this test student and obviously you're going to name your file or your site definitions rather whatever you would choose to name it. Notice that this host piece let me bring that piece back up one more time notice that the host piece is exactly this so here's my host here's my um, site and in fact you could rename that concept to be uh, host Notice here that in terms of um, your server type, it's going to be an FTP file transfer protocol. This will probably say 21. You can leave it that way. The login type will be normal. You will put in your username and password as per the program here. The next thing you're going to do is click on advanced. And what you're going to want to do here, this is where it gets a little bit different, is that this portion, the default remote directory, is the same as your portfolio space information. 
the only difference is that now you're using backslashes as opposed to forward slashes. So this appears your web address, you're using forward slashes. This here is your web default remote directory. Notice it's the same exact thing except for you, you're using backslashes there. Okay, so once you have that information in there, these are going to be pretty much all you need to worry about. One of the other things that if you do run into difficulty you could try is under transfer settings you can switch over to passive but generally speaking most of you will not need to do that. Once you are done with that portion of it you can either click OK to save this profile I'm going to go ahead and do that now or alternately you could have just clicked on connect. I'm going to once I've already gone ahead and saved that piece out of the site manager now I have an option here to go ahead and use that profile to connect and notice across the top here I'm seeing all sorts of types of things that says I am connecting some of the things that could go wrong of course are if you don't have a current username or password or if you don't have the um, site definition set up exactly the same and before I do anything else let me just show you one more thing here under the um, test student advanced I showed you how this correlates to your web address. This default remote, excuse me, default local directory is specific to where you're storing your files locally. Now, if you hadn't set anything here, you would have been given an opportunity over here in your left hand side to go navigate. I just find it easier to browse to my name folder, and that name folder can be on your hard drive or on your thumb drive. Now that we are in to our location, notice over here, this is my remote site over here. This is the RST2 MSCT server sitting over here. And this is my local area. And to upload changes that I've made to my local information, I line it up and see it on, on the left. I know where it's going on the right here. And of course, if I need to navigate into a folder, I can double click in and out the little double dots here at the top take me up a level. If I wanted to drag and drop things over here I could do that and that's as easy as it is in terms of FTP. You'll notice here of course I've got a new date that's because I just uploaded this. Similarly if I want to delete information I click on it one time and hit delete and that's all there is to FTPing with FileZilla. I will be following up with a printed tutorial shortly but hopefully this will get you started. See you later.